Hey everyone, Shaper1000 here. Today we're going to be putting some cleats on here. We're going to put four on, two on each side. You should have three down the side of a boat, but we've got these ones already on the front. One here, one on the other side. And uh, so, and then I'm going to put one right about here, one right about there. We're going to make up some fenders to go on here so this don't happen anymore so what they do is they hang on there and they'll rub the dock instead of that hopefully <laughs> um, so we're going to make them up we're going to put a new winch strap on because this one I mean it's okay well that looks like a new winch strap she was having problems with it. I think she had it twisted. That might be the problem. I might not need that new winch strap. Hmm. Okay. But so anyway, and I've got I got one of these floatable um, keychains. You put like money or keys or whatever in that. Um, it is a key ring. And it'll float if you drop your keys. Uh, let's see. So I got a couple hooks here. I gotta go get some bolts. Because I don't like using screws that didn't come with any anyway. I've got screws that'll fit that, but they're metal screws. And I like using stainless steel on a boat whenever possible. Or brass. So. Yeah, that'll work good. And then also, you know, for tying up the boat, there's no, you know, there's nothing back here at the back to tie off your boat to a dock. So the back end of your boat wants to uh, pull out. See, we got this one up here. This is for, you know, our bow line. So that way I've got a cleat for the stern line. So when I back down, while I'm backing down the, the ramp, I can either tie this off or, you know, monkey can hold on to both ropes I got some extra rope too to make up a stern line but yeah so whoops so I got these uh, I think that's all we're gonna do with this for today this thing I'm not finding a leak in the hydraulics but if you look down in here on this one how clean that is there you go <laughs> but this side draw like this side here is not working real well and that one's real dirty so I'm not sure if I change the fluid in it if it'll help I'm gonna have to get a hold of the customer and tell him you know drop me off some fluid and uh, but I'm not seeing it leaking it's still on the levels now I haven't ran it that much but it's still the levels are fine um, we're gonna get into that later but so while I'm waiting on that thing to leak I don't think it's leaking what he was talking about on this it was acting like it was a major leak but I don't know if you can see like all that grease and grime down there that's just natural I mean that's just natural engine stuff because he said it doesn't use any oil so yeah see down in there how dirty that is that's not a leak that's just natural you know on any engine any engine and I said engine not motor <laughs> if you got that problem on electric motor you got other issues but um, so yeah we're gonna do that he put these on and this one's a little crooked <laughs> and uh, got those numbers I'm gonna replace these numbers and it looks like I'm gonna need to buff this out I'll try to buff it if I can't I'll respray the white and I think I'll I'm thinking about going ahead and just cleaning this off I'll try to touch that up but cleaning that off real good and then shooting it with some clear coat 
maybe blowing some blue sparkles on it when it tacks up and then do another coat of clear coat but anyway that's later on um, so we're gonna put some cleats here the other one I'm gonna go there as long as I got room for the ropes to go in I don't like the way that's mounted that should have been I would have put it back here more but yeah it's got room it should have came and I would have made it straight but if I move it you know now I'm gonna have holes I'll have to patch so I'm probably gonna put them there so yeah you want three down the side of your boat and I'll have three then um, these I think these are original so yeah see I didn't do that I don't think so yeah because I didn't pull up to the dock on this side but that's all right uh, later on maybe this winter or winter project I might respray it shoot some paint on it everything seems to be good um, so stupid spam calls but yeah that's what we're going to do we'll go ahead and make these up and um, I'll get you on the stand just kind of piddling around today I want to get this boat out again this week and uh, do some checking out on it I think I'll replace that board there it's not part of the transom just take up the space for the motor so I think that'll get replaced so but the transom itself is good <coughs> it's not moving but all right prop seems to be in good shape I mean there's a few nicks in it but you're gonna get that you know you can follow them off uh, but so far I'm happy with the boat so let me get what I need to get see I'm going to use these for the, for the fenders here and then that way we can just clip them on and it'll keep that from happening awesome alright let's get to work here uh, but let's do it in the shade it was shady here five minutes ago Went in the house and grabbed the camera, and uh, yeah, I come out and this is what happened. The sun came to me, so. All right, let's get you on the stand. So, first, just going to tie an end onto here. It doesn't need to be a fancy knot, guys. It's not. This is not a something that's, you know, that again <laughs> needs to be fancy. I guess um, it's just a knot. This is how I do it. <clears throat> Get a little bit more on it. And this 
this rope doesn't have to be this thick for this for the for the fenders but I'm also going to use some of it for my stern line so there we go I'll go just like that I'll leave that I might cut it off later and then you just take your lighter and you melt the ends over like that then I'll take it over to boat and I'll measure how long I need and I'm going to do the same thing on this okay so the cleats going to go up here right about here and I want this to hang down about right there so by the time I tie the knot so I'm going to cut it off about right in here that should give me plenty see that then you can use a small torch if you have one. Then you just melt the ends like this. A small torch is better for these bigger ropes, but you get the idea. So let me get this ready and then we'll tie it on to the fender. I may have to go get my torch. All right, so let me get this taken care of, and then um, it's better when you got a sharper knife. My knife, that's not that sharp. Let's uh, let's do something with this blade here. Let me pick that up. Alright, so, of course the neighbor's screaming and yelling again, but this time he walked down the street. And we got her mom's therapist here. And she's getting ready to leave, and he's walking down the street cussing these brains out. Here's a short clip of that. This is what we gotta deal with, and he's over there. You need to stop now. Shut the fuck up! You don't belong on the street, fucker! Get the fuck out of here! You want me to whip your ass, boy? I don't give a fuck. I don't need to hear your fucking mouth, you piece of shit. Yeah, come up here. Come on. Come on, bitch boy. Come on. Come on, you coward. You're a fucking coward. So, yeah, if that therapist wasn't here, I think I would have just laid him out in the middle of the fucking street. I'm tired of his shit. God, I can't even film in my own front yard because of that, you know? But that's what we did. Just dotted, just tied a triple knot there and once these get wet and stuff they'll they'll tighten up really well so um, like I said it should be fine just to hold that all right now let's make us a uh, stern line go this is our FedEx driver he's badass man the best one in town oh yeah come to one out here hold it down what's Shea Bear 1000. Shea Bear 1000. Hit him with the follow, like, subscribe. Until next time. <laughs> right on, man. <laughs> All right, guys. So here's the stern line. I don't have that screwed in yet, but just to give you an idea, this is already done up. So what I did, I just cut. This is a stern line or bow line, whatever you want to call it. And I just used it. So that way some of the ropes match. Well, most of them will. But as you can see, we're good, probably 10 feet away. That's that's plenty. I don't need, you know, because once you get up, you know, to the dock, you know, somebody steps out and grabs this or, you know, like a lot of times I can pull right up to a cleat and just cleat onto it. Actually, it's this side. This side that'll be on your boat. 
and then you hook this side or put it around a cleat it doesn't matter however you want to do it but I just usually use my balanced turn lines like that I clip it onto a cleat or something then I use this for the cleat on the dock but as you can see I mean that is plenty long enough I mean I'm I'm touching the Corvette right now so yeah our FedEx guy <laughs> He's awesome. <laughs> He's a subscriber too, by the way. So I was like, yeah, I said, that'll be up. And he was like, yeah, he said, I'll see it. I'll watch you. Because <laughs> first time I ever talked to him, he subscribed. He wrote everything down, went in the truck, and he gave me a thumbs up and said, I got you. <laughs> so yeah, that's, you know, I mean, that's plenty. The bow line's longer, but I don't like them too long, you know, to clutter up and all that. So and then i was working on this i wasn't gonna show you this well i wasn't gonna show you doing this one because well it's just the same as that one but here's the problem i'm gonna have to redo this one because if you look at this i didn't know they were printed there so you guys know me if you do if you don't then you'll know yeah i'm kind of you know I kind of want them both up <laughs> so I'm gonna retie that one and then we got to go get some bolts uh, a lot of guys just use screws which you know might be okay for like the bimini top or something but I like using stainless steel little bolts and washers on the other side I'll just stick my hand up under here to come over to there to put this on I'll probably put this on Jesus Probably about, probably about right there. So that's about where it's ha gonna have to be on the other side. So somewhere right in there. I'd like to have it right here, but this this can be a hassle. You know, when you if you got to hook off real quick because of rough water and stuff, and you're trying to get to the dock, or you know you're trying to get on the dock, and but especially these little boats, they get pushed by the wind real easy. So, all right, let me, uh, monkey's eating her lunch, so uh, as soon as she does that, I'm going to go to the hardware store, get some hardware, and we'll put the, well, I'll just show you how to do one, because they're all going to be done the same way, you drill four holes and put bolts in, but I'll bring you along with me for that, so stick around, guys. All right, I just got them hanging off these for right now until I get these put up here where they need to be. Damn, that's hot. But I put some tape on here. I forgot to mention that earlier. I always put some, some guys use duct tape, but it's harder to get off. Uh, what I do is I leave that on there until the tape, you know, will start peeling itself off. And then by the time that happens, yeah. Okay, by the time that happens, then these knots will be, they should not come out, like even if you try to take them out, so. So I'll leave them on there. Just they're just temporary, and like I said, when they start peeling off, then we can take them off, um, no problem. Or what I've done before, you hook that onto something solid, and you take a heat gun after you tie that knot, and you put pressure on this as you're heating that knot, and it'll also tie it up. But I don't know where my heat gun is, where I would do that. So I just got them hanging in the sun there. But there we go. There's that part of it. Now let's get onto that thing. Okay, guys, just going to eyeball this. On the flattest spot. Then I'm going to mark it and I'll drill it. Be careful on the other side because it's got the steering controls that go back. familiar 
One person knows what I'm talking about. Hi. I know too. Yeah, Monkey knows too. She's standing behind me watching because she don't trust me. I got these stainless steel bolts. It was what, 17 bucks? Yeah. But, you know, it's well worth it because you see where that goes up in, up under here. So, if those nuts rust on there, oh man, they would be a pain in the ass to get up in there and try to cut them off because this is all going to be flush, so you can't do it from out here. You'd have to be drilling and... And all that stuff and so it's just best to if you know if you can I understand um, I do have regular steel bolts in there like I said but I don't um, just don't want to use steel on a boat especially we're down here in Florida it will be in salt water sometimes right monk yep. so I found something really cool on this boat actually those would probably work but I got um, flat washers and nuts too um, I don't know if you guys can see it but I'll try to show you something really cool on this boat I see like I said before this used to have two levers one was for your throttle one was for neutral forward and reverse and that's not the original steering wheel it had a big round skinny steering wheel now originally this boat uh i don't know no okay so this boat would when it when it was built new it it had a steering column that came down and like what we call a drum on the end of it and your cables would wrap around there. One cable would go over there, down that side, and then over to your motor. And the other cable, whoops, would come over down this side and onto the motor. So when you turn the wheel one way, it would roll up on the drum and loosen on the other side so it would turn your motor. Since this is upgraded, this is a, a one cable system. But up under here, I noticed these two things on both sides. These two brass screws. That's another indication they're original because they're brass. You see that? But up under here, I don't know if you can see that. I can't see it, but I put my hand up under there and I felt it. Where's that? There it is, right there. See that? That's one of the original pulleys. For that cable system that would have ran down this side yeah it's still got the original pulley for the cable the other side don't have a pulley but it's still got the uh the eyelet thing that the pulley would hook onto. i just fly on my screen i just um i just thought that was really cool that that's still there that no one said Man, let's take these out and cover that up, you know, and fill them in. Uh, yeah, and like I said, they're brass, so they are the original part of the steering. I don't know if the other parts still back up in here or not. I'll bet it is. See these? They're painted over, but let me. I'd have to stick my hand way up under here. Let me see, guys. Bunch of wires and cables. Uh, I can't reach that far back, but I'll bet they're still there. Yeah, if I would scrape that paint off of there, I'll bet they're brass. As you see, they match the front. I'll bet you they're still there. So, yeah, they would come. The cables, like I said, like this one, would come here, run through that pulley there, and up and down through here, and then through a pulley here, out this hole, and hook onto your engine to turn your engine one way or the other. To me, I'm sorry, but that's just 
that's amazing you know it's 56 years old i can't reach up in there i will here in a second i'll let you know if they're still there but yeah you know me i'll clean those off and clean them up and make them the brass color again shine them up a little bit someone did good on this one but he got lazy and just painted over these ones but that's okay i'll clean them off that's freaking cool guys all right so i'm gonna go ahead and yeah see that's <clears throat> those are pretty tight uh i am gonna go ahead and All right, I'm going to do that to the other side. I am going to go ahead and run some nuts and washers up on there just in case. And I'm going to do here, right here. So I'm going to do that to the other three. And that's probably what I'm going to do today. It's very, very hot. Um, yeah, I don't need this. So we're going to take this back. What I do want to get is a battery box. So I'll take this back. And swap this over for a battery box because yeah this is new i see what she's talking about now it's kind of doing that that's not a big deal i thought she meant it was all, like all twisted and i'll show you what i mean on this orange because when they get like this these are no good okay when your straps are like this they're no good, get rid of them, especially when they're starting to fray like that. I thought that's what she was talking about. Because I never really looked at it close. I thought she was talking about that. But I think he's replaced that and he might have even said that to me. I'm starting to think maybe he did tell me that. But so, okay, enough chit chat. Let me get that done and I'll be back with you and I'll let you know if these pulleys are still here or i imagine part of them are because you know the bolts are still there so all right okay guys so here we go they're on there they look okay not bad nice and solid i think these i'm gonna take these off we'll see what's underneath there but I'll probably just paint uh, these two. There's one here, one on the other side, and then that up there. I think that might have been, I've seen these with a the big round horn up here before. So that might be what was up there. I'm not sure if this is original or not. It might be, but I have seen them. People put their horns up here. Sometimes they'll put a spotlight up there. Um, and this, I, I Either way, I'm going to take them off and I'll paint them and uh, clear coat them. And I don't know if they're metal or aluminum. If they're aluminum, I might just polish them. But uh, I do think that <clears throat> it had a set of horns here. So that's, you know, had something there. And that's not broke, you know, so that was cut out or drilled so I think what I'll do there is uh, I'll see what monkey thinks getting a, a double trumpet horn system just the electric ones I don't know maybe air we'll see um, they're real reasonable and just put because I think those always look looked good on a boat because if I get an original style horn that would sit up here and things are expensive uh, but yeah I think that's what I'll do with the horn because she wants me to put that horn up there but it's just I don't you know I could put it there but it's awful big you know um, and of course there's nowhere to put it up here and I know the reason why they left this on here was so that this could be seen and this is not in the way which is fine with me because that's that's part of the original boat and i like that so it is the one the original windshield um but uh yeah um it's a decent boat i i really like it but i think a set of 
chrome trumpet horns would be up here. Would look nice up here on this. I'm probably going to respray that this winter. I'll respray the whole boat. Uh, we're going to keep it blue. She couldn't come up with a name. She was like, you come up with a name. So I did. That's what about the blue pearl. That's not pearl white, but if I paint that white, if I repaint the white, it will be a pearl white. We'll go with a pearl white. And then uh, somewhere on here. Because the back's not, you know, there's not a lot of room back there to put your name. That's where most of them are on the big boats. But on the smaller boats, I've seen them back here. I might put it there or there, put the name Blue Pearl on it. What do you guys think? I think it's a cool name. But, yeah, there it is. I'm down for the day. It's just, it's too hot. It's only like 3.30. This thing has not leaked a drop of anything, so I'm not sure what's going on with this pump on this side over here. Just something I'm going to have to do some research on to find out why this side's not working the way it should. Just, I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, I think that's what we'll we'll do with that. Um, yeah, the duo Decatur, Indi Decatur, Indiana. There you guys go. Um, that is riveted in. So I'm not gonna mess with that, but I probably will paint this paint that blue so but um yeah hopefully we can get it out this week i don't know looks like there's been a little patch here i've noticed that when we bought it but it's i'm not real concerned about that uh, it's not leaking and uh so someone's had a little patch there these things get beat up especially when they're 56 years old i'm going to adjust I don't know if I can adjust that center roller or not because I really don't like backing it that far down into the water but we'll see anyway I got to order some rollers I got to measure them because I think that size there is going to be too short so I think I'll go with I don't know have to measure maybe 20 inch I don't know I'm thinking about moving these up here because these really aren't doing anything but and again, I mean, the rollers, I probably won't even need them. But anyway, guys, I'm rambling again. So, yeah, sorry about that idiot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed my FedEx driver. <laughs> that guy's awesome, man. First time I met him, he subscribed to me. So I told you that story. But half of our water softener came so that that's the uh, that's the uh, brine tank for it where you put your salt we've already got the salt we picked it up yesterday so all right and then next thing I'm gonna get on this for the guy so he can get his race done and uh, yeah so I've got, I've got plenty of projects I've got to get mine done uh, I think I'm gonna check the fuel pressure in that I think the fuel pressure is fine I think it's the injectors acting up in it so I got that and I got that uh, tomorrow I'm gonna pull that around back and because uh, I am going to keep the blue lights out of it and I think I'm gonna switch the tail lights over because those are sealed LEDs um, the horns got to come off I'm going to leave, you know, the the bow lights, the red and green, I'm going to leave them on there. I'm going to leave the stern light. And, of course, the motors are staying, especially that little white one there. I hate that piece of crap. we got a Minn Kota now, so. <laughs> so, I'm good with the Minn Kota. But, um, yeah, so. And, see, these wheels, these are galvanized. And those are steel. So what I think I'm going to do 
is have those tires put on them wheels. And then if I ever have to get a set of bearings, I'm just going to get uh, new hubs, the hub assembly with the bearings and all. I may do that anyway, that are galvanized that way. Uh, see how these are rusting real bad? Galvanized don't do that. So, and you know, this is going to be in salt water here and there, but still, I mean, it's underwater all the time. So steel and water. So, but yeah, um, you know, cause once these wheels start chipping, well, you can see like right around that bolt there, see that starting to rust. And once they chip and stuff, they'll rust real bad, especially in salt water. These won't do that. So um yeah they're not as nice as those and those match the boat better but you know in the long run it's better to go galvanized even if you're not anywhere near salt water go galvanized on your hubs your lug nuts and your wheels because remember it's still water it is still water um so yeah like i said i'm gonna someone has welded this so it doesn't tilt anymore i'm going to unweld that and uh so that way i can have a tilt trailer certain places you get into guys you know uh i think this goes around like somewhere. anyway certain places you get into like the other day that would have came in handy if i if i'd have been able to tilt that i wouldn't have had to back so far in the water I, I could have just tilted the back down into the water started the boat up on until the boat got to the bunks and then just winched it up on these things are not hard to winch at all so all right here we go rambling anyway sorry for that idiot but you know i'm not gonna let somebody cuss my cuss my fiance out like that i guess monkey told me that you know that woman that was here the therapist ask why i was you know egging that guy on i'm like she was here she was standing here when he come walking down the street screaming and yelling and when she you know she said nicely you know can you keep it down just a little bit you know fuck you you know i'm not gonna let anybody talk to her like that so you know if i was the instigator so be it but i'm from ohio we don't let people i'm not gonna run in the house and cower I don't care if there's five guys out here cussing her out. I'll take them all on. I don't care. They can kick my ass. I don't care. But, you know, they're going to know. You, you don't come around here talking. He don't even live on the street. He lives behind us on the next street over. And then half an hour later, I heard him on the other street over. So that's three streets in this neighborhood. He was doing that. You know, I'm just not going to let that happen. So, you know, was I wrong? You know, was I wrong for sticking up for her? Nobody's going to cuss her out. You know, that's embarrassing, you know. Uh, monkey's elderly mom, we don't need to hear that. We just don't need that stuff. And and I've had enough, I've had it up to here and I'm not gonna take anymore, you know. I just ain't gonna do it no more. Cause, you know, if that woman wasn't here, he would have been laying on the ground. I don't care anymore, I don't care. You know, I am allowed to protect my home and my family. And if you're cussing my family out, well, you know, you're going to hear it from me or you're going to have to deal with me. You know, I don't I don't think I was instigating anybody. You know, I wasn't egging anybody on. Why is he egging him on? I wasn't, you know, just because her husband's a piece of crap and would cower in the house. I don't have to. Florida's a stand your ground state. You don't have to deal with that. You know, I mean, I'm all for freedom of speech. But when you're disturbing the peace and cussing somebody's old lady out, you know, it's time something's done about that, you know, especially when it's every day. And that's not an exaggeration, guys. Every day he does that. By himself, nobody will be there. He just starts screaming and yelling and cussing at nobody. I'm tired of it. So if I was wrong, let me know. But I don't think I was, you know. I was just going to film him. And then, you know, you saw he started cussing her out. Nope, that ain't happening. Not here. Not here. I'm in a high boy. We don't, you know, we don't play games like that. But there's the boat. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Sorry about the asshole. But, uh, you know, I guess you have days like that. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. And we'll see you guys soon.
Uh, got my little keychain on there. Also got another floaty on there. It came with a floaty, but the uh, the little keychain itself was rusted off of it. So I went ahead and put that on there too. So, all right. So if you turn this key on, I don't know if you can hear it clicking. That's your choke. You push it in, crank it over, start it, and let go. That's your choke. Cool. All right. I gotta get my stuff picked up. Get this covered back up. That's going in the backyard tomorrow, so. All right, and I still wanna, I wanna get it running. Well, you know, it runs. I just wanna make sure it's going to run fine. And uh, for when I get ready to bring it out here and put it up for sale. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone, take care.